Hey everybody, it's I, Ryan, and welcome back to Argentina. How's it going, Carlos? How's it going, Fuzzy? It's going well. Oh, India is blue, and they are non-aligned. I for how exactly did this happen? I think they didn't they lose a war. <laughs> ah, so yeah. Hope everyone has been having a good day. My day has been pretty chill. I realize the. Some interesting states that Germany took there. The Dominican Republic. Oh, uh, whenever they give them content. Ah, uh, good old island. It's like, yeah. We know. Island, please. I mean, well, the Dominican Republic is probably one of the more interesting countries in the Caribbean in this period. It's like the run up to. Actually, I don't know. I was thinking of Cuba, actually. <laughs> Just play Tropico. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah, I mean, doesn't it. Yeah, what's the Dominican Republic's deal at this point? I think it is pretty interesting. Cuba's definitely is, but obviously, different countries. So yeah, this is the state of the world. The United States is not in a faction, and Mexico declared war on them, and Mexico got their poop pushed in. Britain has gone non-aligned and is in the Axis. Germany is historical. Triumphant will. Huh. Italy went communist and is in the faction that Mexico started, and now they're probably in trouble, but they are mostly holding the line. Soviet Union went a different flavor of Soviet Union. Um, uh, yeah, the French alliance is pretty big, even though France has capitulated. They're doing the whole free France thing. Sadly, no de Gaulle. Hmm. And now we are Argentina. Two types of stories from DR. Uh, one missionary who lives there says it's great and the people are great. Every... Rustler, I know. Uh, it says, don't go there. You'll get stabbed. Yeah, that seems... The people are great, but the people that will stab you are not. Listo, señor. Like, I know, I've known a lot of people that have done mission work. Just, like, seasonal in the Dominican Republic. And they said it was wonderful and that everybody they met was great. So I can't invite the United States to my faction, which I don't want to do partly because they're going to drag me into wars... And other and otherwise they would just take control of the faction. I don't want that. Not until I'm at least like big enough. I get really wrestling angry over pro wrestling. Huh. That's interesting. Pro wrestling is like I've always been on the outside of pro wrestling. I've barely watched pro wrestling. It's it's interesting to me. As like a concept more than the actual wrestling you know you used to be a pro wrestler wow dude you've got stories one of these, I think I might need to pick your brain one of these days but yeah that's kind of one of the cool things about pro wrestling is that if you're if you only look at it at a surface level you probably think oh it's just like the WWE and no it's like it's super decentralized it's it's a very accessible hobby, as long as you're moderately fit, depending on how much you want to do. And it's... It's interesting. Hundreds of years of... Hit, hundreds, really? I thought that it was only, like, maybe a... Like a mid-20th century sort of thing, but hundreds of years of history. Like, in a performative sense, or in an actual, like, combat. Like, something more akin to boxing. Or, like... Olympic style wrestling or whatever you do in in um what do you call it in like the uh in high school so yeah anyway Chile had declared war on us and that sucked so uh we defeated them and we have puppeted them and we took a couple of their states because it's want to make our borders look a little nicer there is a carnival sideshow. Beat the strong guy. Ooh, all right. That makes sense. The carnival guys worked out 
They could make more entertaining matches if both guys were in the know. Yeah. And working together rather than a strong man beating up the locals. Yeah, okay, that that's cool. I can totally see that evolving that way. I never noticed that. That little island there. That's cool. Alright. Um, so yeah, we decided to take this stuff from them. There's not even... It's not even 40k in both of these states, so I figured no one would really miss it. For everything else, they've got like a million plus in each state, so... Well, actually, not these. I just uh, puppet at Chile, and they can have the rest. And hopefully they will stay nice and democratic. I should make a... an intelligence force one of these days. But right now, let's go ahead. We should keep on going down this so we can kind of multiply our modifiers from civilian construction and stuff. We get, a, get a chance to watch the Dark Side of the Ring documentaries. Okay. Hmm. And the darker material. Yeah, the, um... The, I do know... I mean, some people that are professional wrestlers are, uh, have done some bad things. I can think of that. And also, it's it's probably kind of scummy when it comes to a lot of the corporate stuff. I would wager. Very. Ooh, yeah. Doop-a-da-ba, I think we want to go for the developed civilian economy next. As we place more focus on our cities, it is important that we provide the amenities that the people of Argentine Republic need. If we can keep our people happy, then it will only serve to make us stronger. Investing in immediate development of more factories is the way forward. Alright, and what do we want to do tech-wise? We want to just go ahead and do atomic research. It takes almost a year. But it would make everything else faster. We could just do austerity trains to just make them cheaper. I don't really think I need to worry about tanks quite yet. You can keep working on plane stuff. Isn't there a plane tech? Or uh, a plane focus... Uh, pl pay plane tech cost... Tech speed... Um, expand the army academy. Uh, okay, how about... Um, research. Really? No research stuff over here. I guess we'll go ahead and... Uh, mm. Let's actually go ahead and start working on the nukes. Ba-bam. Argentinian nuclear program. Here it comes. So I do really want to be fighting... Bolivia, or no, Paraguay here, because I want to get them as puppets, but they're actually doing pretty alright against Brazil. France seems to be holding off on them. I mean, Brazil's got themselves in a rough spot. For some reason, they allied Denmark. Non-aligned Denmark, because I guess Brazil is non-aligned. A historical non-aligned, I think. Falkland Island soon. <laughs> yeah, definitely would be an issue. But the thing is, we're the good guys. We deserve the Falkland Islands, because Britain is gross. We're going to need to grab those. And also South Georgia. Um, so yeah, we need to keep working on this. I don't know what's up with the steel right now. Why aren't we getting any? Hopefully that will just be fine soon. 
Just unpause and hopefully it'll fix itself. Yeah, it mostly fix itself. Still use more steel. Why aren't we getting any from America? What the hell? Okay, there we are. Weird. Yeah, Paraguay is kicking butt, actually. What the hell is Brazil doing? Oop, civil war in... Portugal. Didn't they already have one? I'm thinking of something else. <laughs> So how are my planes doing? We've got a couple of these suckers. You can stop. Hold on, you should go. Yeah, you're drilling. I don't know what's up with this. Why can't I get more? What am I doing wrong here? I really only have fighters. It's because they're considered fighters. And they're not... What do I have? I don't actually have any more. Okay, yeah, these are... I mean, these are fighters. Yo, let's go, man. Thanks to Hydrate. <laughs> I should probably make... Actually, how many fighters am I even making? The, are the fighters that I got just ones that I stole from Chile? What's up, man? All right, I'm making a lot of these things. You know what, let's just keep. Make more civvies. We want plenty of civvies. Uh, we can go ahead and just actually finish that one. South America in the fascist dictatorship. Who, me? Oh, no, no. I'm making it democratic, dude. We're the good guys. We brought democracy to Chile. Defensively. And we're going to bring it to Paraguay offensively. Mountaineer combat with all Mountaineer's defense. All right, so this is basically defensive, offensive, I would say. But we do actually need to change this division. So it actually, well, I mean, we're going to need to bulk this sucker up. Absolutely get you Rangers. <laughs> yeah. Freedom is the only way, yeah. Oh, Peru mode would be awesome. Go to those mountains. I think we definitely want to have this much and probably get some artillery, like a couple artillery. I want to say this is actually pretty close to optimal. That's a lot more soft attack. Regada Montaña. That's, yeah, I mean, that is kind of the thing with Hearts of Iron, is that a lot of democratic stuff is, like, the boring stuff. But I actually am enjoying making myself have a good economy. Not that you can't do that as other countries, but I kind of like the basics of it, you know? The church is in the desert. Ooh. Made up different colored sands. Neat. Oh, yeah, no, it's absolutely a good thing that we did. I wouldn't even say that they wanted to be oppressed. Is this is this meta? Is this the meta? Could we even put more mountaineers in here? I, I feel like that's... Mountaineers probably shouldn't even be that wide. We could always make it wider. Do we even have enough? I 
Logistics would make sense. Go ahead and put logistics and engineer companies. That'll actually do. That sounds good. How many more can I queue up? All right, we'll be able to get four. I always end up building tall instead of wide. Having a super productive small nation. That's cool. I like that way of playing it. Yo, Yapper, what's up, man? Uh... It is a problem. That's the thing, is that it's like... Democracy's... Kind of the point of being a democracy... Is that it's not supposed to be aggressive at the same... But really? Not enough manpower to fulfill garrisons. Let's... Oh, also, I want to make... Anarcho-pacifist state. <laughs> okay, hold on. I want to make just the absolute simplest... Just, uh, force. Victory is better game to play as democracy. It is, because that's an economic simulator. Like, what is the most interesting country to play as democratically? Maybe the United States? Because you know you're going to be big fighting. And I feel like their alternate history paths, well, their, our alternate history paths are not fantastic. Korea? In, uh, in Hearts of Iron? Or just any game? Maybe. On easier games in Stellaris where you can just keep uh, trucking people and be angry. Yeah. Greece? Inter Greece, really? Hmm. I, did I play? I forget what I, what ideology I had when I played as them. Um, I'm, it might have been democratic, actually. So I, I, it's been so long, I don't remember. All right, what would be a fitting? I, what's a? Uh, do I know like what this? What's National Guard in Spanish? Guardia Fran uh, Nacional. Translate. I ended up playing Vatican when available. Vat That's always pretty based. Vatican World Conquest. Is it only a nation that survive a large number of terrible leaders? It's a strong nation. Yeah. La Guardia Nacional. All right. So we'll just go. Hold on. I'm just gonna. Okay, I don't actually need the... I was expecting... I was expecting some accent somewhere. Alright, all we want is this. And we can spam them out should we desire. Uh, hold on. If we put the... Yeah, no, this is what we want. Why are you... Can we not just make a new division? A designer. Okay, it'll create empty. There we are. A little silly. No, not that. Dum dum bum bum ba. We want to give them 
What little icon do we want? If someone survived through the likes of Reagan and Joe Biden. Hopefully, you will survive anything. It's like, I guess there's a difference between a not fantastic president and then one that doesn't govern well. Like, I feel like we've, we haven't had too many presidents that have outright botched very, the basics like a lot of other democracies have. Shark? No, it, are we land sharks? Sharks are for marines. You gotta do something land-based. Johnson? Which Johnson? First Johnson I could agree with. Burb. Burb. Lyndon Johnson? Hard disagree. Hard disagree. But now we're getting political. Uh, which burb? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot you're British. Right, Johnson escalated Vietnam, which was easily the worst thing that he did. But he also did a lot of things that I really do like. I wonder if the, it looks like an ostrich. Oh, okay, hold on. That would be, is that at the bottom? Uh, this one. Hey, America is doing well. They defeated Mexico. You know what? I, I feel... I'm just gonna do these. This feels like the most National Guardy. I have overridden your opinion. <laughs> My apologies. Okay, hold on. We want, um... Okay, garrisons, we want to make a priority, and we will change... Manage subject. No, uh, occupied territories. Switch this to this. <laughs> I just think of like some rifles as being a very National Guardy sort of thing. All right, they are getting rebellion. You know what? Um, local police. You're gonna be gonna be like that. Peter Rose's best president? Definitely up there. I would not say that it is a poor argument. Okay. Get the resistance strength down. Oop, and we got these. Keep on training. Yeah, we have no oil because we are all... Yeah. Running about Reagan, his posturing was apparently a planned military strategy to get Russia to back down. Yeah, maybe. Still a little risky. Like, every president did some good things. Maybe very few, and maybe only sort of good. But, I mean, nobody was not a 100% failure. Maybe an utter failure, but not 100% failure. You're going to be Europe as Argentina? That might be a little bit. You can think, well, that's 100%. All right, let's not get too spicy here. Uh, well, yeah. History and politics kind of go hand in hand, though. Because, like, you can say Ronald Reagan is history. He's, he was president before I'm sure many of us here were born. Oh, no, not Switzerland! But at the same time, a lot of the issues that are in history are still very pertinent to this day. Oh, uh-oh. Just waited a little bit longer, Germany. You could, they could have been on your side. Uh, yeah, this is a very non-democratic Europe. Like, it's fascists versus communists, basically. Well, I mean, the Czech Republic is democratic. Spain is 
democratic, but they're not really doing anything for their benefit or to their benefit. It's like real life. Yeah, it's like I, that's why I don't mind a little bit of political talk because a lot of the stuff that I do, a lot of the stuff I do on stream is historic, uh, like history based, like this. Like, if I were to ask you, what are your thoughts on Franklin Delano Roosevelt? That is history in this game, but is also very pertinent to this day. Like, either you love him or you're wrong. <laughs> or you, um... It's an American thing, but yeah. But, I mean, there are definitely... Like, generally... Conservatives don't like FDR. They, you can say that he was a very good war president, but they would probably also say that he did. Uh, he was a. Uh... Oh, coming on the Mediterranean. What the heck? Oh, they made a faction. Huh. Oh no, they jo they joined Turkey's faction. Oh, this is. This is what the heck. Um, but yeah. So it's unavoidable talking about politics as... In playing games like this, which is why I don't mind a little bit of it. But as long as everybody's chill. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's real hard. To t the only... The biggest argument you could say against Teddy Roosevelt is that he was an imperialist. Which is an argument, certainly. Like, he was quite aggressive with those sorts of things. But he did so many other really good things that it... You kind of just... Everyone shouts down anyone that talks crap about Teddy Roosevelt. Listo, señor. And that's another thing. He is, he is like the quintessential American. Probably the only thing that's not, like, super American about him, in quotes, was that he was born wealthy. He did not make his his fortune. But he did come out of very difficult circumstances after... No, I was thinking of... Oh, yeah, he, actually, he was actually born asthmatic. Or at least developed asthma as a kid. But then he forced his way through it. He just became super fit. Oh, no, Teddy Roosevelt was not overweight. No, no, he was jacked. And, uh, and oh, Switzerland is in that, uh, that coalition, that thing now. You're probably thinking of Taft. Taft was the guy that apocryphally is said to have gotten stuck in his bathtub. Uh... I was about to say poor this guy, but nobody likes this guy, and he was he's not democratic. He's the non aligned president that nobody likes. Alright, let's see now. Started you a scout movement. Based off the British one, cool. Do we wanna go mechanized? Are we really gonna do mechanized? Um, yeah, that was just unfortunate. What was I doing? I was, um, hold on. How are we doing down here? Still a little bit of time. Uh, austerity train. Yeah, I mean, it's... Our American political system that forces us to have a... Oh, yeah. Let's work on plain stuff. Forces us into a two-party system. Kind of blows. Are you... Yeah, I could see that. Now, that would be super American. Tame a bison. Um, hmm. 
I think we probably want to go trade interdiction. Yeah, let's just do that. But no one likes our two-party system. Except the people that are in government that cannot... <laughs> that benefit from having a two-party system. Any banana republics? I guess define banana republic. This guy's in the Axis. Yikes. Honduras, also in the Axis. El Salvador in the Axis. Nicaragua's not aligned. But they might be going communist thanks to Mexico. Same with you. Panama is in the Axis. Most things politically unstable as a result of the domination of the economy by single export controlled by foreign capital. I don't think so. Well... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's something that's not well represented in Hearts of Iron. Hopefully they'll make a DLC about the Caribbean, maybe like Central America and the Caribbean, that will actually be focused on stuff like that. Of actual pirates, there is a mod Road to 56, I think it is, that allows you to become a an official banana republic. I think is Nicaragua. <laughs> All right, you can stop drilling here. There goes l less evil Portugal. I don't even know what you would call it. Uh, you just stop. Come on back, I guess. in World War II would be quite interesting. Alright, until the year takes over... Ah, this does just increase motorized damage and stuff. I think we do just want to keep working on plane parts. I think we can just go ahead and get rid of you. Hey, Jackie, how's it going, man? What are we lacking right now? Artillery, some support equipment. We're working on fighters, I guess. Confederacy were the first to try submersible craft. Yeah, they kind of were. They're the Virginia, or it's called the Monitor, or it was called both, I'm not sure, was somewhat submersible, yes. The, that ironclad model didn't quite succeed or continue on, but it was interesting. All right, so we got develop economy. Stay 
Stabbing research speed. Really do want to get down this path. But research speed, dude. We don't need any more stability, but... Hmm. Uh... Well, that's construction speed. Let's go ahead and actually go down this path. We sadly cannot go down the British one. Because the Brits are bad. They went and empowered the king. Your World War II America was heavily isolationist. It was. Like, we always... We kind of flip back and forth between being isolationist and being very... Not. Like, if America... Getting real political here. If America backs down from the world stage. It depends on how much, but the more the United States does, the more the entire world order collapses because it is based on America being the police. So speaking of America, let's go ahead and go down this one. One of the strong, one of our strongest allies is now wake, uh, is the now waking giant to the north. In the spirit of Pan-American unity, we should send an Argenti uh, Argentinian Oh, did I miss? How do you spell Argentinian? Is it with an I A N or E A N? Do either work? Does either work? Okay, yeah. Uh, I guess I A N does work. Argentine versus Argentinian, I guess. We already won the culture victory, basically. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, we are a good democracy. We're being the good guys. We already liberated Chile. They tried to deliberate us, but we pre liberated them. Yeah, America leaving the world stage in even a moderate capacity, even maybe a small capacity. Things could get real funky. Hopefully you're in a place that America would still continue to be happy with. Um, I mentioned the Vatican. It's the only European country that can't join the EU because it's the only monarchy. Quote, unquote, monarchy. It is an absolute... It's not hereditary. It is technically a democracy. Or it, it's it's like a... It's an elect... Monarchy requires nobility and inheritance. Does it require an inheritance? Like, what is the definition of monarchy? In Absolute elective monarchy. Yeah. Oh, hey, Sven. How's it going, man? I don't when he started. I was talking about Argentina, uh, Argentina in War Thunder. Hmm. It is a theocracy, but we're talking like the actual power of the of the governor, the governance, which being a theocracy is not necessarily what the power of the uh, leader has. Fast monkey, that funky monkey. All right, hold on. I'm gonna look up what is the exact definition of monarchy. All right, according to Oxford, a form of government with a monarch at the head. All right, thank you. Monarch, a sovereign head of state, especially a king, queen, or emperor. So I guess, technically, it, if a sovereign head of state. So what exactly is sovereign? <laughs> Possessed of supreme power, a sovereign ruler. Okay. 
So in that case, yes, a monarchy does work. You could call it a monarchy. Hmm. But also, but the Pope does not have unlimited power. Even in, well, I mean, he might. In the, in Vatican City, which has less than a thousand people that live there. <laughs> Uh-oh, charge it up, Sven. All right, anyway. American allyship. Uh, da -da -da -da. uh neighbors to the north, uh. Argentinian envoy to Washington, D.C. in order to develop closer ties with the American government. War sport, construction speed, naval doctrine cost. Oh, I could have saved that. We could have gotten a little bit more of that. And this is all temporary. So, yes, let's actually grab that. And how are we doing on... Okay, it's coming down. It's coming down. It, it's constitutional monarchy, so it can't just do whatever he wants. Okay. I didn't know there was a constitution in the Vatican. <laughs> But yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because Vatican, Vatican City is so small that it's it doesn't function like a state in most even other smaller states. Because like all the people there, most of the people there are probably also Italian citizens. Like, all the people that just work there on a day-to-day. -day. Yeah, it, it, because of World War II? I was thinking, wasn't it more of a, a Napoleonic sort of thing? Like, France had a lot of influence. They, they, they kept a lot of influence in the still small uh, papal state back when it had, like, this, while the rest of it was getting unified. All right, well, Switzerland's holding on. Huh. Vatican City was founded in 1929. All right, so what was the situation during the mo- Well, well, I mean, 1929, that's before World War II. So you'd say it was because of World War I. Anyway, this is a silly thing that happens. Gotta love it. Yes, Germany's friends with Great Britain. They are both in the Axis. Germany's historical where Britain is... They went non-aligned. Because of Hitler and Mussolini. Okay. Huh. Anyway, Liberian Protectorate proclaimed. Church in Italy were not on good terms since Italy annexed the Papal State. Mussolini compromised by ceding a small bit. Ah. Poland has today taken overlordship of Liberia. Liberia. Liberia has seen Poland as its preferred investment partner, believing the nation to have few colonial ambitions. However, this agreement has now made Liberia little more than a Polish puppet. Mussolini can just attack the Pope, and the Pope refused to acknowledge a fascist as leader. Also hated Hitler. Good, good. USA officials have denounced the decision, seeing Liberian independence as a necessary component of the nation's founding principles. Maria Kozuchka has been accused by fellow KPP members of engaging in colonialism. She vows, period, capital S, she vows that it that this is merely to protect Liberia from would-be colonizers, though many remain unconvinced. Poland and Africa? Okay. A whole lot of history there. Honestly, more churches should talk about history. Si, senor. About, like, everything. Like, church history is very important. Oh, I can actually get one more. Hmm. How many more armies can I even field? Not too many. 
I'm gonna go ahead and chill on this. You can only have five more dudes. We'll just go ahead and fill that. Well, hold on. Maybe I should make an army that is just for these guys. Oh, and Paraguay, they are communists, which is actually what they start as. If anything, they're more democratic than before, I believe. What path did they go down? Did they even choose a political path? I'm not sure. They are fighting Brazil. Paraguay is part of the Bolivarian Alliance, which is formed by Mexico, who is now dead because they attacked the United States, and now is just Italy and all a bunch of little buds. Argentina was communist for a good while. I don't think... No, no, I wouldn't say so. You might be thinking of Chile? Or at least they had a very... They had a leftist... Socialist sort of thing before the CIA got involved. Argentina was pretty much just like a liberal democracy through the early part of the 20th century until they started to get a lot of coups. And then it just kind of started to... Wah. But you were right. Like, Communist Party of Argentina was part of the former... Uh... There's being part of the former government, and then there's being the entire government. Like, a a party can be sí, part of the government without it actually being, like, the government. And then there's also a difference between a communist party that's just, like, really leftist versus being... I don't know. I guess that's maybe semantics. Like, yeah, these are... This is a communist country versus there are communists in government. Yes, I think in air quotes, that makes sense. Like, what period was that? Who was the president? I kind of want to look that up. I want to double check. So by the way, if by any chance you're new to the channel, don't forget to follow if you're enjoying. Or if you're not, make my number bigger. Uh, I like playing Hearts of Iron, and also Crusader Kings, and also Europe Reader Rosalis. And also I'm gonna play Stardew when the update comes out. Ooh, that's an encirclement right there. Let's see. Uh, range? Fighter, heavy fighter. Um, yeah, let's go for the fighter range. Sure, update. Go Palpatine, he can, he can be the whole Senate. All right, the year is not quite ticked over. You'll be done by then. Um, I don't know, let's go ahead and do this. This sounds cool. I've not done too much with the airplane designer, at least not very well. Oh, hold on. Uh, I, yeah, okay. Yeah, this, the update for Stardew Valley is coming out on Tuesday. I'll be streaming that on Wednesday. That'll be pretty neat. Looking forward to that. I'm also going to start playing Donkey Kong Country Returns on Friday. I've got a lot of stuff I want to be working on. You are... Hold on a second. What are you... We need to be building more civvies. Go ahead and finish that, though. Um, but we also need... You know, just connect this up there. That just runs through the whole thing. 
Get that up to two. A landslide election as the whole entire ballot gets caught in a landslide. Okay, these are pretty quick, so we will go ahead and actually bring these up. Also, go and grab some of that. Let's say host shoe theory is dumb by the easiest way. They retain anarchist. There is, there's something to that, yeah. Not incorrect. Hmm. Uh. Reliability. Che Guevara. He's from Argentina, but he he kind of did things all around Latin America. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, hold on now. I'm gonna look up communism in Argentina. Mostly focused on Cuba and Chile, yeah. Part of the Argentina's Communist Party, left in exile after anti communist leader Peron took over. Mm hmm. All right, well, thanks for hanging out, Um. Have a good night. All right, Communist Party of Argentina is a communist party in Argentina. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not uh, not so sure about how much they actually did governance. Long Yun takes national leadership in China. Oh, look at Yunnan. Someone get Yunnan. They had joint leadership with the Socialist Party. All right, so it was just kind of, it was the leftist government. Oh, good for Yunnan. And Japan's still in their civil war. Come on. <laughs> I mean, at least they're getting some democracy support, I think. No, Yunnan. <laughs> That's always fun. <laughs> so, the name is always fun. Alright, but it looks like we're getting an ad break. We will be back in a couple minutes. So, stick around. We're probably not too far away from attacking, I mean, liberating Paraguay, hopefully?
All right, we are back. You have no political allegiance, just history. History studyage. Gotcha. It's good to keep an open mind when it comes to politics, I find. Now, you may find that you lean one way or another, but also don't get dogmatic about what you're thinking about. I mean, it's just not you, the royal you. Don't get... I find getting too involved with the nitty gritty of the as a voter. Mm, I don't know. Maybe that's not the thing. The royal we. <laughs> that we should try and measure the best options. All right, let's go and just uh. Start working on those down there. Wait, no, hold on. Is that... Why can you... What can you get upgrade? Hold on. Why? Why is it saying this can get upgraded? Oh, wait, no, I get it. Okay, no, no. All right. Because we got the thing. We got, like, upgraded our whatever it was. Uh, you know what? Maybe we get our guys trained somewhere other than the front. Like, we got, like, a fallback line, like, here. And you drill. I don't know. Just make it. So we're not going to be building too many of these, but. Well, we probably should. How many trains do we have? That's actually a better question. We've got enough trains. Listo. 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 Oh, we need a main armament. Hold on, what? Wait, oops, what did I just choose? Oh, oops, no. That. What is... Hold on, I, I think I confused myself. Hmm. Alright. Now the year is almost... Going, all right, um, it's still a year away. Actually. Uh, let's maybe start working on this. Or... No, let's keep working on plain stuff. Uh, 
Next, speed or agility. Hmm. I don't quite know <laughs> what is ideal there. Like what? Okay, what exactly? I know it may seem obvious what speed and agility are, but what do they do? Also, you know what? Maybe we should. Level two. You know what? Let's let's upgrade. He's like level three. Hmm. Okay. I kind of want to just take a look at this plane. So, agility. How agile plane is. Agility affects how easy it is to hit another plane and how easy, easily it can avoid being hit. So it's good offensive and defensive. Or speed. How quickly the unit can traverse tr terrain under optimal circumstances. Kind of obvious. So I don't quite know what that translates to. I'm just going to go ahead and get agility because that sounds cool. More plainy bits. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's do battlefield support. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ram -ra. No, not so far, Cap. Oops. Why? Huh. Why did that change? All right. Let me cursory here, Kuro. Do we want to just go ahead and do this? Ooh, fighting. Uh, if we invite Ecuador, that'd be about fighting time. That sounds fun. That sounds like a mountaineer thing. Let's actually go ahead and get this guy in charge of this. Or maybe, you know, a better idea. Let's take Lima.
And maybe these guys can kind of follow afterwards. In fact, yeah, before you fight Uruguay, you may just be fighting Peru. Would that force Peru into a faction? You know what? I think we just go for it. Pan American cooperation. With our new faction formed and dedicated to keeping the peace on the South American continent. Uh. Oh man. The ads destroyed your phone. We should reach out to the other democratic nations around us and request they join us in our pledge towards peace and freedom. Together we stand to stronger and we will be less likely to fall. So that's Colombia, Costa Rica, Ecuador, and I wish it told me what the other three were. Let's do it. Yogurt, you know. I think we just go ahead and throw this guy on there. The rest of this army can. Get a fallback line. So we don't stress the supply. We'll just kind of... We'll use... Our mountain men as a spearhead. Hopefully that will be sufficient. And these other guys can funnel in back... Uh, from behind them. As needed. You can train faster as a general. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit ago. Yeah, what I'm seeing is not that they, I mean, I just kind of glanced over it. But what I'm seeing is not that they had a communist government or that they were, I don't even know if they were in power. I'm not quite sure. Why is that still an issue? Really just from being level two. Okay, I think that's the issue. Also that. Okay, that helps quite a bit. And that's a little bit of an issue too. Yeah, I think that helps a little.
Sí, señor. Hmm, Paraguay is not doing so hot. Which makes me want to declare war on them. Alright, we'll do these two focuses next. This point between Ecuador and Peru has been taken forever. How about you? You can be a light blue. You can be a brighter. Wait, no. You can be a brighter red. Paraguay is losing territory. Because I have historical focuses off. Alright, this is production cost versus armor for mechanized. Reliability. Mm, you know what? Yeah, let's let's go quality. For these trucks. I think we let's go ahead and get this one. I probably should have waited until my next focus was done. Save me some points. You got the time to check out the light tank. I'm not very good with the tank designer. I couldn't tell you how good it is without really taking a look at it. And even then I probably wouldn't be that great at it. So I'm not sure. Curative People's Republic? Who? What? <laughs> I mean, I can take a look, but I'm not so sure. Uh, hold on. Uruguay? Wait, what? What is the Curative People's Republic? Would they just. Wait. I'm confused. Actually, start working on these now. So 
the American Confederacy. What's Brazil? Oh, wait, hold on. What? What was it saying? The name was like the Curative People's Republic. Can I like... Listen to every country name in Hearts of Iron 4. Wait. Oh. That's an independent Curacao. It's now communist. Wait, wait. Didn't they say... Were they in the faction that immediately got kicked? I thought that was what... <laughs> huh. Interesting. Actually, no. I, I want you to be a light blue. Imagine. doing on everything I just got a decent number of guns it's actually one down to that Well, thanks for lurking, man. Thanks for hanging out. KGD, thanks for joining me. Just bought the game. Very cool. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. I'm not an expert, but I am pretty familiar with it. Listo. Hmm? Listo. All right, we're about to form our, get our friends in here, hopefully. South Africa's having a civil war. Let's keep going down. Got to play multiplayer. Okay, so there is a pretty different meta, a more complex meta for multiplayer, or like co competitively, definitely. Because, you know... The AI doesn't do quite as in-depth things, but there are a lot of things you need to cover when it comes to playing with actual people. So I have not played this competitive at all. I've played cooperative and obviously single player, so. Like there's, there are, when it comes to the AI, fighting the AI, like when it comes to a Navy, there are probably only a couple things you need to do, like cheap destroyers, uh, cheap, submarines generally kind of does the job but i think when you play against players you they're probably going to be going for heavy stuff co-op more than pvp okay i'm sure your friends can help you a lot with stuff all right but um yeah this is a fun game to play cooperatively i've done it a, a fair bit u.s marine training program U.S. Marines are elite troops and a symbol of American military might. There is a lot we can learn from them, and now that we are working more closely with the United States, we have the opportunity to do so. And I think the next day... Interesting. Yeah! Glad to have you. 
Uh, long swimming intentions, not from South Africa. I feel like I've not seen this before. Huh. Okay, so no, they did go down the fascist path. It's kind of weird that they got this. And not... This. I got the... I got the short head. Hmm. Oh, and anyone that is... Interested in knowing when I go live? You can follow me on Twitter. You can join my Discord. And you can sub to me on YouTube. If you want to watch VODs. I, uh, yeah. It, it's good to just chat with people in my Discord as well. Just giving a little plug there. Like we've got a whole, we've got a channel in my Discord that's dedicated to Paradox games. Sven has been sharing his woes playing as Sweden as a rookie. Uh, Paraguay's not doing so hot. I wouldn't mind fighting Brazil. They're not aligned. <laughs> Ecuador accepts our proposal. Ecuador has graciously decided to accept our proposal to join our alliance. You see that? Alliance. Is that a word? I don't think that's a word. I think that's a typo. Comma. And now we can stand together as a bastion of peace and democracy in South America. Together we will hold the line and protect our people. Costa Rica has joined. And so has Cuba. And Colombia. Heck yeah. Very cool. Uh, and I, I'm just going to go ahead and join your war. Boom. Sure. Wait, hold on. Are you not? Listo, señor. Uh, hello? What? Why aren't you moving? Oh, that's right. I need to call you into the war. Right. <laughs> Cold arms. Bada boom. Uruguay refuses our proposal. Interesting. Perhaps another time. And we got a claim on them. Uruguay has refused to join our refused our offer to join our alliance. They do not realize that together we are. Do they? Do they not realize that together we are stronger? Yet, uh, let us hope that they will not regret the day they uh, the refused us. Perhaps another time. Interesting. <laughs> what are you doing there, Paraguay? What are you doing there? They're putting in work. There we go. Of course, called Columbia in. They're going to help them out quite a bit. Nah, we don't need fighters from you. Yo! 
down. Attention. All right, put you on aggressive. Si, senor. Attention. Economic reactivation is gone. Whichever one that was. I think that might have been that one of our I don't know if that was one of our civilian construction speed ones I want to say it was We're, we're kicking their butts, man. Doing great. So far. That is a, that is a deep... That is a, that is a lake in the mountains. Japan is having a civil war and attacking all these warlords in Africa. National South Africa has joined the Axis. Oh, Paraguay is almost gone. I might as well just finish this up. Then you go to the front. Guns. Yeah, let's do it. Big gun. scare it would seem that fascism isn't the only thing that we should be worrying about the growing power of the union of soviet republics is just as pressing communism stands as yet another ant antithesis to democracy and we should be wary of its spread Okay, this is the actual CB. Uh, we're about to take Lima. Ecuador has almost all of the participation, and that makes sense. They have lost nearly 200,000 men.
Are oh, these guys about to get encircled? Right there in Cusco? I think they are. Yes, they are. Oh boy. Kill. Kill! And pop, pop, pop. Pop. And there we are. And it looks like we don't really have too many choices. What is ha what is already on the table here? Yeah, uh, I guess I'll just pass. I don't know what Ecuador is doing here. Okay, no, they are taking... Oh, they're just taking those provinces. Rather, they have, uh... Hold on. Ecuador is demanding Taka... Which one? Excuse me? Why are you thinking that one? They want a little coastal bit down here. Um, sure, you know what? Puppet. Why do they only want that? I'm gonna contest it. I guess. Are they putting are they putting all their points into that? Is that what they're saying there? Wait, no. Oh, they're giving that to Chile. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, let's just puppet you. I guess I think that's what Ecuador is doing. Yeah, they, they want to give that to Chile for some reason.
Um, I still don't get the man. I still don't get this. <laughs> Oh, no, I think they're just... Are they taking all the rest of it? Is that what's happening here? I don't know. Uh, and nothing else is happening, so... Sure. Okay, yeah. They gave that to Chile. And I went ahead and uh, up it at that. Peru still exists. I guess I couldn't take much because I'm a democracy? Or truths. <laughs> Not even a whole year. I. I kind of want to take the rest for him. <laughs> and also, I want to border Ecuador there. Be a little bit better off. All right, that's interesting. <laughs> All right, what do we want to do now? Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> To do this. Ooh, and you got a medal. Decided for continued action in Northern Andes offensive operation. Took part in the occupation of Lima, former seat of the Peruvian government. I think you would be good. Give me this one. Ooh. And, oh no, I already gave you that one. Okay. <laughs> Recovery rate is good. I'm pretty sure that's kind of ideal. How is our connection going up there, anyway? Also, yeah, let's probably start working on more of these. And everyone, once in a while, we should go ahead and press this button. This is Mendoza. Yeah, we can go ahead and press one of those. Click. Some more support could be nice. Did not, not know that Argentina had a claim on that. That's so weird that Ecuador just... All they wanted to do was win? They didn't even change their government.
kind of want to give this to Ecuador. <laughs> Any resources in it? Not even two hundred thousand people. I just like painting my map real nice. All right, Italy is still mostly holding. They have fallen back a little bit. But that is not too significant. All right, but I actually have to take a little break. Got to go to the bathroom. Um, I think I... Let's see. I'll probably just run an ad. I Hopefully that will not mess up the timer. And, like, get any pre-rolls going. All right, so we'll be back in a couple minutes. Don't go nowhere. But also, if you're new, follow channel for more Hearts of Iron action, as well as Crusader Kings... Europe Universalis, I'm going to be playing Stardew later in the week, and Donkey Kong Country Returns for the first time. That'll be pretty cool. You don't want to miss any of it. So I'll be back in a few minutes.
All right, we're back. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, all right. I mean, we are attack bonus against countries against the Soviet Union. Ooh, excuse me. Rather, I guess is the official name. Union of Soviet Republics of Europe and Asia? It's kind of weird that I, Argentina gets a focus that could make a bunch of South American countries join the Allies. Makes sense if it's my faction. Join the Allies. Seems a little weird. All right, but this is the one that actually gives me uh, puppet war goals. Is there a way that I could do a naval invasion of Italy? Would I be able to get access to France? Seems not. Maybe we start improving relations? We might be able to be chill with France and we can invade, it invade Italy? Happy little invasion. Hmm. Hmm. How are we doing on occupied territories? <laughs> this is so weird. Is it coming down still? Or is it, uh... Alright, it's coming down. It's coming down. We're gonna do this one and then we're gonna attack what remains. Oh wait, hold on. It's all communist countries. Which is Paraguay. I don't know what's gonna be happening with Uruguay. Did they not choose a political direction? Are they only going down like the military path or something? I can't tell. We went down some kind of dictatorship. Oh, acceptance of democratic diplomacy minus 60. That's probably why they didn't want to join. But also... All the other stuff. I think they made some kind of choice, but... No, I think... Th is this... Are these... No, they haven't made a choice. Like, this is communism. This is fascism. This is a, not even democratic, but neutral? I don't know. That's their non-aligned? Okay, now let's choose this. Choosing this. Uh, brains? Artillery. I mean, we may eventually want to make some anti-air. 
Anti-air can be very good. And now I'm at the cap again. Kind of want to put these guys... You can actually go in this guy's... Vision. Oh, there's actually oil down there. And are these not connected? Hold on. I gotta connect up our empire. I mean... <laughs> okay, it is not... It is connected. It's not super well. Attention! Not the red scare. Yeah, and we don't know what the heck they went down. Are they not? I mean, why can I not actually attack them? Just straight up attack them. Hmm. Oh no, I'm stupid. It's this one. Extinguish the South American... Uh, extinguish South American communism. The Red Menace is not just a boogeyman made up to scare children. Communism has spread to South America and it... And it ever so quickly encroaches on Argentine Republic. For the sake of democracy and freedom, we must mobilize to put down this red resurgence before it spreads across the continent. But Argentina has... Uh, I mean, Brazil has... Really rebounded here. That'll be a little overkill. In fact... Hmm. I, I don't even know if I'm gonna be fighting Brazil. And I don't need to. And we can't fight monarchy? The monarch, uh, like the <laughs> this guy. I mean, they are. This is weird. The Nordic Defense Council, the Finnish Nordic Bulwark. Never noticed these names. No, Norwegian Atlantic Wall. These are kind of hilarious, and I never noticed them before. All right, artillery and fighters. How's this guy still in charge? Czechia... I mean, it's possible that he doesn't get ousted. 
if Czechoslovakia doesn't fall. But they are... This is, this is a bad situation for the Czechs. I can only buy so many. I, I mean, I'm surprised that I don't have access to more. Also this. pretty good on the civilian factories kind of want more but you know whatever Uh, we should actually be building more of these things, shouldn't we? How about more planes? Aluminum. Pardon me? The United States joins the People's Front. Franklin, what are you doing? Did they go down secure China? I don't think so. Can she join the Bolivarian Alliance? <laughs> Weird. Oh, and Mao's gone. And now Japan has joined the Axis. State of Japan joined the Commonwealth Nation. Guanxi Click joined the. Oh, that's a mess. This is a mess. 
The state of Japan is actually starting to win. It's starting to get nukes. Recon, sure. Sure. Are working on mechanized, maybe? Maybe work on more plain stuff. I feel like we're building up a lot for a war that I'm probably not going to take part in. Um, you know, whatever, mechanized. Sure. Things in Europe are just so messy. Why? Why would you even take that blob? I could actually get docking rights. And their opinion of me is already maxed out. What if I send a tache? Hmm. Do I want to do that? Why though? Hmm. I feel like they could make these into two states. West and East Panama? Once this truce is up, I think we're gonna... 
Do I not have war goal on them? Well, I, I now do. Should. Can't go down that way, get some more recruitment and experience, or just straight up manpower. Getting this, guarantee all democratic nations in South America is not too many right now. Hmm. Brutal pop, that actually could be useful. Railway construction speed. Can't do this one. Consumer goods factory is minus 20%. That's pretty nice. Second Argentine Republic, though, man. That's good. I could do this, too. Puppet of the fascist nations. Actually, no, I don't. I need to actually go down this way. Dang. I'd have to do it manually. Hmm. Uh, research speed? Uh, you know, let's... Let's go and do this one. Revisit the Roca Rune Siman Treaty. Roca? Roca? The Roca Rune Siman Treaty ha Rune Siman? has been in place since 1933, ensuring our beef exports with Great Britain. However, with the recent development of our economy, it may be time for us to negotiate a new treaty with the British and get ourselves an even better trade deal. Do I need to let the day tick or something? Before I see my war goal? Don't I get... Am I crazy? Did I not get... Puppet war goal focus on all communist South American... Na oh wait, no, they're fascist. What am I thinking? Uh, that would be this one. I could just declare war on them right now. That would absolutely snuff them out. And that means that we would be fighting the, uh, the Italians. But you know what? Worst case scenario, we're just sitting at war. So... Why not? I will hopefully be able to get my Bolivia, or rather Uruguay, sorry. And there we are. Si, senor. Oh, they are... Si, atacando! The Mexico that does not exist has joined their war. I don't want any of these non-aggression pacts. These aren't even considered fighters, are they? I mean, it is a fighter. It says it's a fighter.
I'm not going to worry about it. But I think we can make an airbase. Yeah, let's make it here. Why are you only at 80%? No slots available. That's weird. Huh. I do want to build another dock. I mean, dockyards. I, I don't know. I feel like dockyards is still kind of. They could come in handy. How would they? How are they still holding? Eventually, we've got to bleed them dry, right? They have no manpower. So every death, they are not able to uh, bring back. I still I can't reach that apparently Do we even need air superiority? Let's just bomb them Officer plan? Currently losing. Huh. Keep working on the fighters. I mean, it's saying that this is close air support. Huh. I, I, I don't. I don't quite get that. I 
Maybe I should just make these guys just fighters. Uh, or just cat. Yeah, maybe maybe just cast. What do I actually use to do ground attack? Am I, I'm missing the tech, I think. Okay, and where do I even see how much... See, this is how not good at Hearts of Iron I am. How do I even see, like, damage done by my planes? These guys are taking attrition. Apparently I could actually train another one of these dudes. You know what? Let's just justify on you. Sure. They might join the Axis. And I realize that now. I don't know if I want to deal with the Axis right now. Maybe I do. Okay, now they're actually doing close air support. And though these guys just don't have close air support, they only have interception. I declared war on Paraguay, and they are not in a good spot. <laughs> I don't know. Let's maybe make some... I have not worked on submarine stuff at all. I'll just work on this for the moment. I should probably work on actually doing submarine things. Or just Navy things. If I want to actually do anything with the Navy. What if? We just let them walk in. And then they're stupid and they spread themselves too thin. I think, okay, I think I just need to make a better fighter, or rather, better close air support.
Like better engines. Non-strategic materials usage. Makes air defense worse. No, uh, that is good. I don't think I care about bomb sites. Uh... That's one that I've got right now. It's uh, four heavy machine guns. Sure. This is not. Silvering Mark II. Make more of those. All right, we are going to yield terrain. We're going to yield territory. In order to... Like, they will just collapse. Is it the medium airframes that... Hmm. improvement sure let's do this one We'll see an opening and they will go for it. Hopefully. efficiency sure children later and your grandchildren much later out of a last ditch war I, I don't think we have any more of the civilian boosts but that's fine kind of built plenty of civvies to you and to me and to our 
never before since Jamestown and Plymouth Rock has our American civilization been in such danger as now. The Nazi masters of Germany have made it clear that they intend Firme. to dominate all life and thought in their own country, but also to enslave the whole of... All right, I should also make some close air support. Like where ground attack? What actually does ground attack? Am I stupid? The United States has no right or reason to encourage talk. Oh, that does cast. Until the day shall come when there is a clear intention on the part of the aggressor nation to abandon all thought of dominating or conquering the world. The forces of the states that are leading. Against all people who live in freedom are being held away from our shores. Every bomb locks. Germans and Italians are being blocked on the other side of the Atlantic by the British and by the Greeks and by thousands of soldiers and sailors who are able to escape from subjugated countries. Yeah, I think it's the heavy bomb locks that we want. I'm actually very unsure. By the Chinese nation in another great defense. In the Pacific Ocean, in our fleet, a gun loaded with explosive bullets, economic as well as military. and definitely there is danger ahead danger against which we must prepare but we well know that we cannot escape danger or the fear of it by crawling into bed and pulling the covers over our heads Germany has said that she was occupying Belgium to save the Belgians Sure, whatever. Let's, uh... You can be the... I come up with a name for this. Hmm. Sol Rojo. Mark one. One of the other republics of this hemisphere. We think of Hawaii as an outpost of defense in the Pacific. Yet the Azores are closer to our shores in the Atlantic than Hawaii. What's it even trying to tell me that I'm missing? I'm building all of these things. Who say that the Axis powers would never have any desire to attack the Western Hemisphere. This is the same dangerous form of wishful thinking. Okay, yeah, they're not stupid enough, I guess, to try and push in there. They just don't have the pushing power. Are already within our own gates. Your government knows much about them, and every day is ferreting them out. Their secret emissaries are active in our own and neighboring countries. They seek to stir up suspicion and dissension, to cause in 
You need more artillery, actually. That would probably be the thing. And Ranger, that's a big soft attack boost. Yeah, it's only 1941. Kind of crazy. They are. They have been fighting the UK for a while. Yeah, with that whole front up there. All right. So do we go special forces attack? All right, that's soft attack. Force contribution. Or, I mean, soft attack. Or just attack. That's just straight up attack. I think we want to do backbone of the armed forces. Wow, we'd actually quite a few more. go I get the tech I think we just start going down here recruitment drive war continues to heat up and we must be ready to answer its call all across the Argentine Republic, men and women are willing to put their lives on the line to fight and defend their right to freedom from those who seek to take it from them. We must open up a recruitment drive and encourage the people of our great nation to take up arms and prepare to fight for their home. It is pretty nuts. Oh.
I don't know, a little bit of terrain that we can get there, I guess. Yeah, the more dudes they put in there, the better. Because I can actually spread out where their troops are. If they could start pushing into Brazil, or rather, just get their territory back, that would be my best case scenario for us. I didn't even change this. Wait, what did I... Hold on, did I... Oh, I upgraded this one. With the Rangers. Yeah, we, should, we just need to get you more artillery. Get you Rangers. Eventually we'd like to get you signal companies. Did I just not have the points for that before? Did I just not press the button? <laughs> what was that? Hey America, can you give me a lot of artillery? They would not. Too much equipment to stockpile. I kind of don't want to do the cheese. We got a little bit of close air. Airport. Uh, you. No, you. Who has canal blown? Why? It's not even threatened. Well, I mean, France over there, I guess, is pushing a little. A little bit of cheese isn't so bad, but you know, hmm. Not, not a huge cheese guy. If I can avoid a little bit of cheese, I will. In Minecraft. Oh, wow. Denmark is actually pushing against Sweden. Nordic Defense Council. I like that. I, I just like the silly names they give them, too. The Finnish Nordic Bulwark and the Norwegian Atlantic Wall. Like, your very state is just a defensive mechanism. Oh, and Japan has... Yo, Japan came to Brazil! And we are out of manpower. A good thing that's going to be fixed pretty shortly. A second jam packet. Yogurt helping. Literally uh, jam. Oh, that sounds nice. Japanese Brazil. Northern security pact. What would they become? The Brazilian Southern Outpost or something? They fell for the memes. There's actually a sizable Japanese, like relatively sizable Brazilian population in Japan and vice versa. All right, free 20K there. The Second Argentine Republic. After many years of corruption and fraud, we have finally emerged from the ashes of our old state and arisen as a new bastion of democracy in the, the Western Hemisphere. From this day forth, to separate us from the mistakes of the past, we shall be known as the Second Argentine Republic. 
en Union, en Union y Libertad. So you just think about South America so little in this game and otherwise. And we are already blowing through that 20k. See if we can finish these off before we have to. Oh, wow. Um, alright. What's. Isn't there. This will give us more manpower. I think we go ahead and have to upgrade this. Extensive conscription. Japan has a huge influence on Peru, too. Cool. And then that's not even talking about how much they love anime down here. Actually, you know what? It would probably be better to do, like, medium or closer support. I'm not sure. Maybe that's... That's what we want to do. Let's actually wait and get better guns. For the month to close out. And we get into here now. Confederate descendants in Brazil. Yeah. Yeah, isn't Hindi actually the largest religion in Guyana? Weird. Um, better engines? Sure. The notable Welsh population. That's actually a whole thing. Yeah. Like, I could... I could release Welsh Argentina. I guess. Yeah. I was not expecting Paraguay to be such a tough nut to crack. We just need a lot of artillery. Yeah, you can release them. If I didn't have Iron Man mode on, I'd show you exactly what that looks like. Listo, señor. Atención. Firme. Japan's beating up Brazil. France is moving back down south. Okay, they did up their conscription, so they've got a few more troops. All right, let's grab you. And you. All 
How do we get rid of Infamous Decade? Do I actually do that? Okay, we modified it, but we didn't actually get rid of the bad part. Anti-corruption policy. Well, anti-air stuff, anti-communism. No, I don't think so. Oh. oh, we've got too much of this stuff now. Got enough tungsten, it would seem. Might need to start working on tanks. Oh, that's interesting. And forgot that that was happening. Pakistan, yeah, Pakistan, never doing that. Soviet China. My, my. Now, Italy is very slowly losing. You know, you're not going to respect the United States. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Dragon Rising. Listo, señor. You guys just tr drill on the front. All right. We got an ad starting up here soon. So we are going to take a break and be back when it's all over. Ooh, it looks like Japan's not doing so great now. Dang. We don't like Brazil. Sorry. All right. See you soon.
we're back. I don't know. I'm not even going to start pronouncing that. Celtic languages are crazy, man. Not to... Uh... This one's Rawson. Okay, that thing. Yeah, that'd be weird. <laughs> All right, we have, uh, oh, wait. Apparently these are democracies. Wait, Peru is a democracy? What? Oh, no, is this that Peru? Okay. Like, my Peru. Just know the south of South America is La Plata. I think the whole thing is considered La Plata. I'm not sure. Did we just change our color, too? Are we, like, an even grayer looking thing? Huh. Huh. He once, what once was blue is now gray. Uh, crudel pop. Sure. Buenos Aires will stand as a symbol of true metropolitan life in Second Argentine Republic. The development of our cities has helped us to encourage the population to live happy, productive lives. So do, in doing so, we now have a boom in population and a higher rate of education throughout the country. Sick. Argentina is a boom in place. Listo. Sí, señor. I don't know how the special forces cap just bounces around like that. Apparently it's 37. I should have just gone to war with Paraguay earlier. Like, I could have taken Asuncion a lot easier. Okay, now they're out of manpower again. Oh, kicked it up another notch. And by that, I mean they got a couple guys that showed up at the... at the recruitment center. And now they're gone. All right, we need to build more in Chile. Switzerland, no! Let's 
going to make it even harder on Italy. Utilize domestic film industry. Our war. In an effort to improve public opinion towards the war effort, our propaganda ministers selected the exceptional cinematic uh, production of Our War. Not of, but just Our War. A sublime viewing experience with a strong patriotic sentiment for screening across the country. We hope this heralds the beginning of a long and storied tradition of our patriotic film industry. The results have been excellent so far. A masterpiece. With Monroe Doctrine. I forget what that did. something that I actually had the focus that I did because I'm I'm big on the Monroe Doctrine I guess The United States is actually fighting the Axis now. Cool. There goes Panama. You're no longer my puppet. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that kind of sucks. After all that... Are they... Yeah, no. Yeah, you're on my only supervised state. And you know what? I'll, I'll keep finishing that one for you. Congratulations. Actually, I should, I should start working on 
like making oil and stuff get that tech soon or rather i'm about to so perfect all right no this wait which one does it like this one Maybe I should have just eaten all of Chile. An aggression pact with British Malaya? Sure. Hold on, they actually pushed out there now. France is starting to get some uh, get some stuff there. Si, senor. Hmm. Si, senor. Sí, señor. Paradox needs to add more events to the game, like how Hungary is able to call Sweden the war if they choose that. Maybe? I don't know. That sounds like... A little bit of a stretch. Maltov ribbon chopped. Wow. They <laughs> spat out Belarus. Oh, and there goes Czechoslovakia in 1942. Poland's in trouble. Hungary, Ireland. All right. Railway stuff. Expand steel extraction. Mining has been a major industry for second Argentine Republic since its conception as a land of silver. However, our intention is more focused on expanding and extra uh, the extraction of steel within our mountainous uh, actually, let's do aluminum first. Aluminum. Do we want to do aluminum? We could use aluminum. Nordic Alliance makes you think of hell divers. All right, aluminum is an important resource for the development of our vehicle forces. We should develop our mining operations and increase the extraction rates of this useful material or metal. Metals are materials.
Let's work more on the close air support. Aluminum. Oh, they apparently not generate enough world tension. Despite having invaded Ecuador. Try it again. Invade Ecuador again. What is that? Now, you know, all right. You know what? You can actually just back out of there. You can take that. Justin, how's it going? Thanks for joining me. Hola. Listo. Si, señor. I should... Yeah, I don't know how much... How good... Are my mountaineers... Self attack... 219. These have higher soft attack. Defense 425. And how good is it really just. Defense 306. Defense 425. Oh, that's not something I like to see. All right, well, we're pushing them out. Hold on. Huh. Oh, you speak Spanish and from Costa Rica. Very cool. Glad to have you. I do not speak Spanish. So, I would appreciate it if you do your best with English. And if, uh... Yeah, because, like, I can't... I can't moderate Spanish. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Yeah, your English seems pretty good from what I'm seeing. Let's, I don't know, get run, uh, recon? Sure. Hmm. 
cierto. We are pushing up here. Push them in even farther. Better guns. I don't know, maybe let's start trying tanks. Listo. Listo. I really just can't push into there. Sí, señor. I can actually attack from both sides though. It is not doing great. Hmm. Reliability. Yeah, that's the soft attack. Get up on tanks could actually really help make tanks, hopefully. We're actually pretty good on just guns. Ah, so you know what? Let's go straight up upgrade. San Juan y la Rioja. Sure. Well, that's not doing well. We're still lacking a good number of artillery.
Um, I'm so disappointed in East Fen. I'm curious how well my Mountaineers would actually do here. I don't know, I kind of don't even want to bring them over because supply is still a problem. Yeah, I've heard about that stuff. I guess we'll bring these guys out. They can help do stuff. Actually, inter yeah. All right, that's some aluminum. Very cool. And to double down on whatever that modifier is, the uh... books on resource extraction. I guess we don't double down on that. Like we can't multiply it with the other one. Uh, but we can still. Yeah, let's go and just do expand steel extraction. Mining's been a major industry for Second Argentine Republic since its conception as a land of silver. However, our attention is more focused on expanding the extraction of steel within our mountainous territories. Argentina and Germany have always had a close relationship. I don't even know if I'm going to fight Brazil. Listo. They are non-aligned. Wow, 
Why can't I build infrastructure? Okay, I mean, I guess I could just build infrastructure kind of wherever, I suppose. You guys work on those. <laughs> Civil War for a sec I saw that flag and I thought it was I thought it was communist Yugoslavia all right but they're having a civil war that's cool but uh we could probably take a good I'll allow it I hope the commies win so that I can get Uruguay to be my vassal or whatever. Temporarily. I still can't invite them to my faction. Probably because of the Civil War. I have no idea how many dudes they have. But they've got at least a couple. Don't know how, if there's actually any fighting going on right now. Ooh, yeah, we can go for that. First FIFA World Cup was held in Montevideo. Hmm. Yeah, I had this sail there. Man. I swear, like, why, why are you letting me build more? Now you just sit there until we can actually do something. Until eventually my cap increases. Oh, go for that. Hold on, that actually might have worked. We're gonna have to upgrade you. You you are overstretched. Why are you not? Motorized level.
Hey, that's actually... Uh, no slots available? Huh. Um... Oh, in that one particular spot, I suppose? Huh. Getting more artillery be a bad idea. I don't think so. I mean the combat with. I'm not sure how the combat with feels. Hmm. Like if this is too wide. If I were to add that. Main focus was to read up on early Argentine tank, but was distracted with little sp Swedish tanks. Hmm. Oh, did I not upgrade this? Oh, no, it's the same thing, I think. Production is power. Build a certain number of new civilian or military factories. Good for me.
<laughs> looks fat. 35 tons. Yeah, this war in Uruguay isn't doing anything. <laughs> Alright, but I think I am going to call it here for the evening. Tomorrow will be no stream, but Wednesday will be Stardew Valley. Like, I feel like we're just a little bit of an impasse, and eventually we'll get back to this. And that'll be cool. Um... Yeah, start to update. Gonna be cool. L really looking forward to that. Probably gonna do a lot of ranching. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.